We've made it to the market for fish, as you can see. Boom, boom, boom. Just buy two white perch and I'll buy the shad. Can you buy the two white perch? Yeah, no, I can buy everything. Because you're driving. We're going to buy white perch to use as bait when we go catfishing today. We were a little bit too lazy to catch them. Also, we don't really know how to catch them this time of year because it's winter time. So, yeah. It's about $2.99 per pound. Not too bad. He's sticking his tongue out. <laughs> Wait, they have tongues? Yeah. What the heck? Alright, whatever. There's so many fish here. It's crazy. Probably gonna go up there some of these this winter, maybe. Alright, we got our baits and we're going to the counter to check them out right now. Alright, boys and girls. We got our things. One shad, two perch. $13.42. Easy money. Hopefully we catch some giants. We're gonna be heading to a new spot today. We've both never been, but we saw it on Google Maps and ooh, that dog, that dog was barking at me. He hates me. <laughs> but uh, hopefully we can get on him today. We're gonna be heading to, uh, to a bigger part of the Potomac River. This place has a really deep drop off around to, I'm gonna uh, guess, it was around like 70 feet or something. Yeah. It's 70 feet drop off, so we're pretty prepared today. Got five rods. We'll get there at 4.55, so at sundown. Stop! <laughs> Hundreds of seagulls over there. They're all just flying around. It's crazy. We've made it though. I'm not really sure how we're gonna land these fish. <laughs> um, might have to bring him over to oh yeah, yeah, okay. We're, we're gonna bring him over there to that dock. Alright, that's fine. Alright, for hooks, I'll be using the size 12 plain shank J hook. Nah, I'm playing, I'm playing. But <laughs> we're gonna be using big weights, probably around like five ounces or so. Right here, five, four ounces. Ooh, these are big, big, heavy duty stuff. Alright, guys, we're a little bit worried because we don't know how we're gonna land these fish. We have no nets or anything. I think we're actually gonna have to walk the fish all the way down there to land it. <laughs> it's rising tide till seven, so one key thing I learned is. When you go catfishing, you want to fish the last two hours of any type of tide, like falling, rising. The last couple of hours are always the best, in my opinion at least. There's Songja cutting up the white perch in hopes of catching some mondos out here. All right, guys, I'm going to be using this giant bait. I'm just going to use the head right here. Ooh, it's all bloody. Ooh, that's good though. Make it smelly and noticeable in this murky water. It rained a couple days ago. The water's pretty high right now. I want as much hook point exposed as possible right there, just like that. Ooh, that's bloody gross. Ew. All right, first cast. Badunk. Time is now 5.05. .05. We'll see how long it takes. All right, guys, I'm all set up. I'm going to go ahead and get the first cast in. Oh. This is that same rod that's uh, recommended only one ounce weights. But I'm using a five ounce weight with probably a one ounce bait right here. A giant head of a perch. First cast. I'm gonna lob it out there, not too hard. There we go. Boom. Let it sink all the way. Whoo. All right, hit bottom. Go check it out. Look, it's a bug. Hello. How are you? Oh, it's Mr. Bug right here. Hey, bro. Hey. Hey. All right, we'll leave him alone. First bite. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Is it nice? Is it nice? nice. All right, guys, it's 516. What's that, like 10 minutes? That was 10 minutes. 10 minutes into fishing. We're still setting up right here. Nice. How is it? How is it? It's pretty good. All right, we're taking, we're taking the fish down here. Because we got to... Put in that rod just in case it gets a bite. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go ahead put this rod I'm gonna put it inside between here I'm gonna put it inside here so just in case it gets a bite we don't lose it dude he hasn't even surfaced yet you keep walking down keep walking down oh there he is there he is not bad was that like a 10 pounder already yeah. nice no 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 yeah, here let me grab the leader let me grab the leader 
wait, that's more than 10. That's like, it's like 15. No, no, no. 12, 12. I'm gonna give it 12. He freaking destroyed the bait, bro. Look at the bait. Woo. Okay. Can you stop biting me? That kind of hurts. That really, oh, fuck. We're gonna get a little weight for fun. All right, this is the game. This is the game. What's your guess? Uh, maybe 15. 15, all right. Um, I'm gonna guess. 13, 13, 13. I oh, wow. <laughs> it's only 10. <laughs> it's only 10 pounds. The very first guess was the right one. Look how long he is. He's so long. He's not that fat. Heck yeah, I'm trying to point the lamp away at the camera. <laughs> You're good. See you later, baby. Woo! So we like. Oh. Catch your release. How was the fight in deep water? <laughs> Yo, it's insane. It's like, since there's a large, there's a really strong current too. Uh huh. So that's that has an insane, like, tug. Man, I am excited. I'm freaking pumped. I got, we gotta finish setting up now. This, this rod's getting a bite. We're just waiting right now. Oh, wait, what the? Drag down, drag down, drag down. There you go. Drag down. Line went completely slack for a second. It's a flathead! That's what flathead bites look like, I forgot. They're really light, and then your just line just like freaking falls. I don't feel anything. All right guys, the thing I do when I get bites like that, and there's no fish on, we just wait another five minutes, see if he, he'll come back. And if he doesn't, we'll just reel in, see if he took the bait. Come on, fish! Please, bite! I'm hungry to catch! Guys, I'm being fish deprived. Getting hungrier and hungrier by the second. And because I'm not feeling anything tugging on the end of my line, I'm being deprived. Come on, please, one more bite! Or just one bite and make that bite a 80 pounder. <laughs> no less. Come on. No bites. We're out here grinding and suffering. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're on grinder. <laughs> oh man. Guys, what is that? That's the freaking moon. It doesn't look super big to you guys, but like, it's freaking massive. What on earth? <laughs> what is that? It's as big as the building over there. Well, you guys, that was a rough day underwater. Sungja got the skunk out of the boat, but I still got skunked as an individual angler. So, hopefully, We'll get on it next time. That's why they call it fishing and not catching though. It's, it's rough sometimes. You just gotta endure it. Keep fishing. Never stop. <laughs> just, yeah, you just gotta keep fishing, honestly. And to catch those fish, or just catching big fish, or just any fish in general, the key is time on the water. There's no, there's no big, like, certain bait, no best bait. It's just time on the water. What do you have to say about today's session? Well, it was hard, it was cold, we still got one fish though, which isn't, you know, heartbreaking, but um, the wise words of John B, keep fishing, never stop.